I'm Nicole Roylands, I'm coordinator of public education and information at the Francis Lee Monroe Arts Center at Baxter College. And it's Thursday, April 14th, and we're very happy to welcome Big Gay Hudson Valley to the Francis Lee Monroe Arts Center. And we knew part of the night would be also about promoting the upcoming AIDS walk on May 7th over the walkway. And when I was planning this event and thinking about what to talk about, I thought we had to show um, some selections, um, even though it's kind of virtual, of our Apocalypse series that Keith Haring created at the end of the 1980s. Um, Haring had been diagnosed and was living with AIDS at this time. Um, he had been part of the Jesus Freak movement when he was be when he was growing up, and he was someone as part of that movement who knew there would be an end of days, who felt there would be an apocalypse. And when he was diagnosed and he was looking at his community and the AIDS epidemic, he very firmly felt that it was the end of time and he made this series which has text from William Burroughs to reflect his feelings and what he felt was happening. Um, when you look at the works on the screen, um, you'll notice that He's playing off of the Burroughs text. Um, we think of Herring and his kind of cartoonish, um, amoeba-like dancing forms and the happiness and the radiating child, which was a signature image. And we come here and we have these jarring shapes. Um, here you'll see um, the Christ figure at the top. Um, spewing, and he, in the Burroughs text, keeps talking about things spinning out of control, things at the end, um, but as much sadness is in this work, there is still a sense of hope, I find. As you read the text, he talks about things moving out to the streets, that graffiti is where art is, um, and that's where you can still find the spirit, so... What I love about this is we have this reflection coming from Keith Haring as an artist, coming from someone who was um, diagnosed with AIDS in the late 80s, um, but someone who still saw maybe a light at the end of the tunnel.